kick! <laughs> Jokes are primarily meant to make you laugh, but a good joke can sometimes illuminate some greater truth about the human condition. Dive Kick, with its amateur Flash cartoon characters battling it out in an unapologetically cornball atmosphere, is definitely a joke, and it happens to be a pretty good one. Nothing feels better than delivering that decisive knockout blow to end a round, and Dive Kick gets right to the heart of why we play fighting games by focusing on this addictive sensation like a laser. There's no doubt you'll be entertained, and there's a very good chance you'll be laughing. There are only two buttons in Dive Kick. The Dive button sends your character in the air, and the Kick button makes your character dive toward the ground with their foot extended. Kicking on the ground will propel you backwards. So why isn't it called Jump Kick or Kick Dive? Well, this one character actually teleports, but the truth is that other than the high-tension mind games going on between you and the player, whose face you're desperately trying to introduce to the bottom of your shoe, Dive Kick doesn't take anything seriously. Each character has a life bar, but the second someone's foot finds its mark, the round is over. If you can push buttons, you can learn the way of the dive kick. As Uncle Sensei, a cigar-puffing warrior poet with combat boots on his feet and hands might say, would you like to play a game of lucky hit? Uncle is his wins! The correct answer would be an emphatic yes, because dive kick is stupidly entertaining. But luck isn't really a factor, at least not when you've had some exposure to the different kicking styles and character gimmicks, including 13 characters, a super meter, and character-specific special moves in a two-button game does seem like it could overcomplicate things, but expanding on the simple concept adds enough complexity to keep things interesting. Unless you're really anal about needing to know exactly what each character is capable of, you'll have no problem jumping into a match and dealing with new situations as they arise. Sure, the other guy might bust out an unexpected technique that changes the fight in some small way, but not if you kick him first. Each of the 13 characters is both a lethal dueling piece as well as a bundle of parodies and in-jokes. The fat guy in pajamas wears a neck pillow, which lets him take a kick to the head without getting dizzy, while another fighter literally gets a bigger head when he wins a round, putting him at increased risk of concussion. Who are these people supposed to be? You have to be pretty deep into fighting game community lore to know. Of course, it's pretty obvious why the hideous stream monster celebrates his victories by pouring salt onto his opponents using his prehensile tail. He can't use his hands because he's wearing a straitjacket. A lot of this stuff simply works as absurdist humor, but sometimes the game feels like it's being dumb just for the sake of being dumb. The gem system from Tekken Cross Street Fighter is barely worth spoofing, and they probably could have done without the ridiculously horrible English-speaking announcer. Round six, kick. Other times, the game's humor is dead on. The so-called fraud detection and choke detection heat up down-to-the-wire matches like magic, making it blatantly obvious when someone is being thoroughly dominated or about to totally blow a massive lead. Kick. Right. Oh, man. Choke detected. Choke detected. Like all fighting games, this one is best played in the same room with a group of friends, although online matches are easy to set up and lag free. Story mode would only be appealing in total isolation, despite its bizarro dialogue. Victories feel hollow if the skull you're kicking doesn't have an actual human brain. Dive kick may not look like it's worth $10, but like the stance-switching Uncle Sensei, looks can be deceiving. Once you've connected with a high-powered headshot, you'll gain a much better sense of the game's value. When you're on the receiving end of that ego-crushing kick to the dome, you can be damn sure that you'll want a rematch. 